All right, great. The next step is to get this mess out of the way that I'm not going to be using anymore, but I'm going to, because I'll forget what I did here, so I'm going to mark it. I'm going to cut this off right here. This is the load. Cut this off right here. And label it load so I know what it is. This is the one that doesn't work, but I might use it again for something, so I, I just don't want to have to go through all the experimenting with it again. Now I'm going to cut this one. This one goes to the power. Let's just cut this and label it power. <laughs> power to the people! All right, power here, yeah, and then I'm going to I'm gonna wire tie these together out of the way. And then this stuff, these wires are, because I was, you know, yank when I was wiring this, I'm going to shorten these things up so that the, these wires aren't all over the place for the sake of lack of confusion. And then this is going to end up going to the motor. And I also drew a diagram of how I wired it when it finally worked right. So I got that written down. Just in case something happens, I'll never remember it. So I write it down. There's the one that works. I actually wrote the other ones down also. Let's see, where's this one? This one, right here, the clock building first wiring thing I did. And then here's the 11 pin one, how I wired one of those. And then I just started winging wires all over the place till it worked. Anyway, but I got them all written down, which is cool, good for us. And until the next video.